Howdy, I'm Matt, and in this quick video we will be discussing heat shrink. But heat shrink you've probably not seen before. Now I've got to put my hand up, I actually bought this by accident, not knowing exactly what it was. Uh, and I can tell you point blank, I'm going back for more because it's bloody brilliant. So, we've got two pieces of heat shrink here, and from face value they both look exactly the same. They, they're they both heat shrink, you put some heat on them and they both shrink, so heat shrink. But the one thing which you may not have noticed is this, this stuff, you'll see me just squeezing away in there and it's really, really soft, it's really, really thin, it's exactly the stuff which you're used to. Very, very thin uh, heat shrink, that's the stuff which I, I'm used to and probably it's the same case for you. However, this other stuff is quite different, and I bought this off, like I said, I bought this by accident off eBay. And what's so different about it? Well, if we take a close look at it uh, up here, you'll see, or hopefully see, that the inner walls are much, much thicker. And I'm going to put my hand there in the background to see if it stands out. And you'll see that I'm there trying to squeeze it, let me get on the end. Uh, and it's much, much thicker. And if we look inside there, there's some shiny stuff inside. And this is the thing. This is automotive heat shrink. And what they've been and done is that this, it is thicker. And obviously it's going to be heavier. But we're talking about a couple of joints on a, uh, in an RC model. And we're never going to notice the, the, the micrograms more, uh, in short. So inside of here, there is glue. And that then means is that if you've got a joint which you want to stay watertight or you want a joint and ensure that it's never, ever going to come undone again, is that what you can do is use this stuff and it's absolutely brilliant because you heat it up just like normal uh, and then the glue inside melts and then that then makes uh, a waterproof, airtight, per or like nylon permanent seal around the two materials or the cable or the joint which you have been and covered with this stuff and it's again this stuff is really really flexible okay really really flexible this stuff much much that you see it's wanting to bow there and I've put that white there just to to try and highlight it and I hope we can see down inside there so you can get a closer look so um yeah there's my tip for you a heat shrink kind of boring until you find some really cool stuff. And it's uh, you'll find it in the automotive category. Uh, and then do look out for it specifically because it when you when you need heat shrink like that, it is absolutely brilliant. So there is my mini tip stroke review on heat shrink. Buy the automotive stuff because inside there they've got glue. Because again, you would want that uh, in automotive wiring where it's gonna get wet. Uh, so for your RC models, if you want a stronger joint using heat shrink, go for the automotive stuff. So with that said, for myself, Matt, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you again shortly. Cheerios!